Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. I am here with baby London and London is Aspen by Claire Teller. Um, the prototype done by Sylvia's Creations and I just wanted to share her. I'm going to get her dressed in this little outfit and I, I guess she's going right back into pink. I, I'm having a fit because it seems like her the coloring or something is not like she, she's looking like so basic in here but she's not she's such a beauty hang on all right maybe it's just me <sighs> this baby is absolutely amazing the sculpting the painting everything about her is amazing um, you know, I always look at my babies and I, I don't compare, compare, but I do compare. Like, um, you know, I said her and Kenya has a similar painting style. And I was saying that, that Kenya was just as nice as London. Not to say that London isn't, <laughs> isn't nice and, um, definitely worth every penny. Um, so it was just a compliment to the other artists and I just wanted to clear that up because I don't want nobody to think I was like putting down Sylvia's work because I mean, of course she's like the prototype artist of the year, month, century, everybody uses her. So yeah, I wouldn't do that ever. But, um, yeah, but this is my sweet baby. Oh my gosh. Like this baby, like make your ovaries hurt because you really 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 feel like she is so newborn i think this this sculpt and the jude by ogaara is my to date is my very favorite sculpt like i think they're the most beautiful sculpt um there's a lot of other ones that i absolutely love like i love twin b I love uh, Make by Audrey Stoetti. Um, I love Half Pint by Marita Winners. Um, there's just quite a bit. I love, of course, Soraya by Laura Tudor Ross. So, and these sculptors, they capture something that's just beautiful in their work that's more unique, it's creative, um, they're not just going with the flow of everybody else usually, um, you know, Mick does have a little bit of the sucky lip, um, that is kind of was trending for a while, but in person, Mick has its own look. Oh my gosh, come here, baby. Hang on, I'm trying to unfasten this because I don't want to have to really pull I don't like dragging nothing over there we go nothing over my baby's uh, face even when they're did you lose your passy oh I already took it out even when they're vinyl I still don't like dragging clothes across their face you know although I role play with my babies on camera and I love my babies and I you know I dress them I do change them probably a little bit more often than what the average so-called high-end collector um, but you know what I'm very careful with my babies I wash my hands before I interact with them I don't lotion them or hand sanitize them before my hands are completely dry and a lot of times that's why I'm so ashy I mean at least I have an excuse <laughs> so that is you know you just do want to be very careful with them. Now, her details are very subtle. Um, so when I was saying like you can't compare completely a light skinned baby to a dark skinned baby. Well, you can. But I think like Kenya is more peaches and cream. This baby is a peaches and cream, but she has a lot of subtle detail. Like she's her modeling is there 
and she's fully modeled fully modeled but it's very subtle very very subtle like it just looks like real skin so I love both painting styles but today we're just gonna focus on her and her lip looks so fleshy I love how she did the lip color on her um, and the, the the lips on this baby can be painted so differently so you can make them look more full less full it's just so much that can go on with this baby you can make this baby look like a crier you can make it look more serene like this you know it's just so much so much so much with this sculpt and you know we got to and, and this is the new trend everybody's saying give people their flowers I am the one to say it in this community in our industry look at this I like how they did this so they just put it snap together now let me go get my scissors because I don't want to snag that um but we gotta start giving these artists that's been doing this long before us and who kind of paved the way for us to a certain extent um their flowers um you know people like Sylvia Esquire and you know now we have the the whatever it's uh, Beatrice or Beata whatever and um, Bianca Frank and all them people but before all of that Sylvia Esquire her dolls used to sell so super high on eBay and if it wasn't for those dolls selling so super high a lot of these other artists dolls would never have made it up there because people would not think it was okay you know what I'm saying? It's like, so, and even from that, and also just the photography and everything that they put into their work, um, really, really deserves to be acknowledged. Um, there's a level to this type painting that not just anyone can reach. Um, it's so subtle, but so lifelike. Some people do subtle, but the baby is just like blah. When you walk into my nursery, there are certain babies that just pulls your attention in. And not all of my babies, I'm going to say, um, will be on the same level or have the same exact effect. But there are some that's like more, you know, pulled your attention more than others. And, um, I, I just, I love it. And I, I just, I love seeing the, the art and other people, perspectives of kits, you know, it's amazing because we paint what we see and what we feel in the kit and <laughs> that can work for us and against us at the same time. Um, because you know sometimes what we see may not be the most favorable and it will come out in your painting if you paint from with your heart and within you it will come out if you're just painting commercialized every baby is the same skin tone every baby has the same markings every baby has then it really the baby is like that's what I call a baby don't have a soul and I know it's a doll and I know none of them have a soul technically but that's that's what I call a baby don't have a soul. But, <laughs> um, and by the way, guys, this little outfit came from Baby Gap. Um, I'm getting to a point where I just enjoy sharing everything with you guys. And I don't care if all of us have the same outfit or the same baby or the same. I do like my babies to look different, like have their own unique look, something different about them as far as the painting. But you know what? At the end of the day, that's what I'm here for to share so I I do want to start sharing more of where I get things now, I ain't gonna share you know my painting my colors you know what I use for this how I do this how I do that no I'm not gonna share all that but I do want to share oh I knew this outfit was gonna be perfect on her um but I do want to share with you guys um you know, like where I get stuff from. Because we always shopping. I know we got bad. These babies take on so much. <laughs> like we, we go from, we, we be shopaholics 
on top of um with shopaholics then for the babies for the clothes the accessories everything oh man she's so adorable wow I'm so, 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 so thankful that Sylvia allowed me to adopt her out and purchase her. And um, once she did ship her, um, the shipping, she got to me really fast. And I'm always afraid of overseas, um, you know, transactions. But she really, really got here in like... Oof, like two days or something like that I think it was it was real fast I can't remember I don't want to over exaggerate or under exaggerate but it was I know it wasn't it wasn't long at all and I was shocked I was like whoa <laughs> so um yeah but she is just amazing and this video is not doing her any justice but I'm when the sun comes all the way out, I will take more pictures of her and put her on Instagram for you guys to see. And her little binky seems to go with everything. I love this little blush pink binky. I think it just really suits her skin tone and it just matches her all the time <laughs> what I put her on. But yeah, this 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 kit is amazing. Claire Taylor really sculpted this baby beautifully. And then, you know, you know, we have the the Alex and the Ashby has the same limbs and it's just beautiful. The the bone structure and stuff in the the legs and everything, the the feet, everything. And you guys know, as much as I ooh and ah over other dolls and I love everything, at the end of the day I am still a diehard Claire Teller fan. She is still absolutely my most favorite sculptor when it comes to silicone and painting. And um, I absolutely don't think she fell short on these kits. I really don't. I, I, I mean, it's just something about the sculpting. And I know she shouldn't be wearing these type shoes, but I feel like she should have something on her feet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put her booties back on. Um, she just looks so real, it's like, I don't want her feet to be cold <laughs> but yeah I just you know she could have probably even used this pacifier if I wanted to if I didn't want yeah see because she 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 has a open mouth so she takes a modified pacifier so I could put her on you know the same pacifier that I use for Andrew oh my gosh <laughs> so funny it's like I I, I guess because I got a little dizzy like I looked like I seen her little chest move I was like okay now it's time to shut the camera off and go get some help <laughs> but anyway guys that is it I just wanted to share her with you guys again this is the prototype um only me and Sylvia creations did the prototypes for Claire Teller um Abby and Aspen and um it is an open edition so hopefully the kits will be back um maybe in a month or so the factory has delayed everybody kits pretty much that's using that factory which most of the sculptors use that factory so it's not just them but they will be back and it's open edition so if you didn't get them during the pre-order definitely um you know get them after but i am just yeah i just wanted to share them and um so this is Aspen Asleep by Claire Teller and um, painted and rooted by Sylvia Chris. Serious Sylvia Creation. Sylvia, I don't want to mess up her name. It's Esquire or something like that. But Sylvia Creation, if you type that in, you'll find her. Um, she's everywhere. She she's the prototype artist for everybody, <laughs> just about. So yeah. Um, but anyway, that's it. Oh, my Mickey. Like, look. All right. Bye-bye.